One of the most exciting things that you can do in Lightroom CC is to use it to improve your photographs. And the editing controls in Lightroom CC are designed to help you do just that. They're both powerful in terms of what they let you do, and at the same time, they're presented in a streamlined way that makes them simple to discover and to use. This lesson is an overview of the editing controls and techniques in Lightroom CC. If you're following along with the sample files for this tutorial, or with your own photos, add those to Lightroom CC as explained in the first tutorial in this series. To remind you, download the sample files from the tutorial page and then click the Add Photos button in Lightroom CC. Navigate to the sample files for this tutorial, tutorial number two in this Get Started series. Select the Sample Files folder and then click the Review for Import button on a Mac or the Choose Folder button on Windows. In the preview window that opens, there's really only one thing to do, and that is to go up to the Add to Album area and click the arrow there and click New. So you can create an album for these sample files so you can easily access them as a group in Lightroom CC. I'll call this album Toot 2, and then I'll click Create. I'll leave all of these photos checked and come up to the top right and click the Add Photos button. To edit a photo, select it here in the grid, and then come over to the far right and click the Editing icon. Here you've got lots of controls to work with. The controls in the column that just opened are the global controls. They affect the entire photo. You have controls for adjusting light and color, and if you scroll down you see that you have panels of other controls too to explore. And then over on the right, there's a crop tool. And by the way, if I do need to crop a photo, that's usually what I do first so that I don't waste time editing areas that I'm going to crop away anyway. And then below that are some local editing tools, tools for editing just part of a photo. So after I apply the crop tool if I need to, I usually come to the column of global editing tools and I'll just start at the top because it's easy to do it that way and use the controls that I think I need on my photo, adjusting the lighting and then adjusting the color and then going down to some other panels if I need to. And of course you can go out of order. So if I have a photo with a really bad color cast, I might first come here to the white balance tools and correct that. So now a word about how I set up my workspace here. I usually will collapse this film strip at the bottom that shows you all the other photos in the selected source. To collapse the film strip, come down to this icon in the toolbar and click. And the other thing I like to do is to come over to this menu with the three dots. I call this the More menu. And from there, choose Single Panel Mode. What this does is just keep one panel open at a time. And this can be helpful when you're working on a smaller screen. So notice that if I click on another panel, the Light panel closes and the Color panel opens. Let's go up and open the Light panel. And here we have sliders as our controls. Now you could just drag sliders, and you can see that the image automatically changes. But sometimes you may want to have more control over these sliders. So in that case, you can click in the value field for a slider, and then you can use the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard to adjust the slider in small increments. If you hold the Shift key, that adjusts in larger increments. And then press Enter or Return on the keyboard. I find it really helpful when I'm editing to compare a before and after view. If you want to do that, come down to the toolbar and click this icon. And that shows you the original, the before view, and then click again, and there's the after view with your edits. And of course, it's always important to know how to undo. If you go up to the edit menu, you can choose undo there. It tells you exactly what you're undoing, which is the last slider move that you made. So here I'm undoing that adjustment I'd made to the shadow slider, and you can keep going backwards in time that way, and you also can move forwards in time with the redo command. Or you can use the keyboard shortcuts, Command Z on a Mac or Control Z on a Windows machine for undo, and redo is Shift Command Z on a Mac, Shift Control Z on Windows. And then if you want to revert everything back to the very beginning, you can come over to the three dot menu, the more menu, and from there you can choose Revert to Original. And if you like keyboard shortcuts, the shortcut for that is Shift-R. Now that you have an overall feel for the editing controls, you probably can't wait to dive down into them and get to work. But before we do that, and we will in the following tutorials in this series, let's see how to use presets to do some of the editing work for us 
in the next lesson in this tutorial.